It's Wednesday, January 18th, 2012, and here's New York. My Tuesday began a little like this. 5.35 in the morning. I woke up at around 5... 10? 5.10? Kelly then. Came out of the bathroom. As we get ready to go. As my best friend Kelly and I walked to the bus to Boston past the eerie glow of the Empire State Building and the James Farley Post Office where I did my first test video for this project, I kept thinking of who chooses what remains within human consciousness. And as we kept riding north on the fancy double-decker megabus complete with awesome sunroof past the snowfields of New England, I kept thinking of why we do what we do and why I was going on this trip. I also napped a lot. And as we visited the sites of Boston, like the old state house that is John Hancock's clothes, and the cane used to be Congressman Charles Sumner in the 1860s, and historical role playing and historical dioramas, and I love me from historical dioramas, and then walking in the government district in the North End, past what turned out to be a Holocaust memorial, and that elevator to the awesome Zakem Bridge, to pretty buildings and the old granary burying ground, I thought of how much the dead play a role in what we, the living, decide to preserve. Ultimately, it's not up to the dead how they live on in our world. No doubt, Paul Revere hoped he would be remembered at least as part silversmith rather than mostly courier more than anything else. And as Kelly and I sat in the bus terminal reading this book I've been rereading called New York City is a Geologic Force, I kept thinking of the omnipresence of the dead in our world and how we choose to honor them by how we decide to live our lives. I'll see you all tomorrow.